Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled Being Neighborly. And it is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. Behold, a lawyer stood up and put Jesus to the test, saying, a teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? A Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers, who stripped him and beat him and departed leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor? to the man who fell among the robbers. He said, the one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said to him, you go and do likewise. Who is our neighbor? In this text, we receive the answer straight from Jesus. Uh, sometimes we want to excuse ourselves and ask, who is my neighbor? We can't help everyone. There are so many. Well, not really. For your neighbor is someone whom you've interacted with, who's been close to you someone to whom you could give a helping hand and where you're so often committed the great sin of passing them by. The priest and the Levite did just that. God had placed a poor man at the roadside exactly where they walked. They saw and quickly passed by. That sin is easy for all of us to commit especially when it's a person who is closest to us. It could be a question of our nearest and dearest, someone suffering from fatigue, who can't finish their work for the day and can't do what we feel that they should accomplish. So we pass them by. We don't get involved because we don't want to take on any more responsibility upon ourselves. We sense the situation, but do nothing about it. We don't talk about it to them because we don't have time. We see it maybe every day without asking ourselves how they're doing or if there's anything that we could do to help. It could be an old, lonely, or forgotten individual whom we pass by, or it could also be all of the hungry and the homeless we see on television. Yes, they are far away, yet they're still within our reach. For our church 
has a long and dependable arm in its relief organizations and in our programs that are close to home. So who is my neighbor? They are someone whom you could reach with your service. You become their neighbor, just like the Samaritan of whom Jesus said, go and do likewise. Let us pray. Lord, you know how we make excuses and delay action when we have a difficult duty to perform. There are so many and we don't have the time for everything. There must be something, however, that you desire us to do. Do not allow us to neglect those duties. We know you have placed these duties on our roadside. Just as the injured man was placed by the roadside in the desert of Judah to be helped there, compel us, Lord, to stop and not pass by. You are the compassionate Samaritan who saved us and paid our debt. Now let us go with you on your way and do what you want done. Jesus, in your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.